to access the igniter after you remove your your intake pipe you can see where it's at it's jammed way back up in there see right in there it's plugged in and just use a little flat screwdriver see up there where that red you want to pry up on top of that red on on the ends like over here first and it'll, it'll, it'll just pop out there's no screws it's just just two ear clips on each side here's the old igniter removed it's got a little pigtail connection you've got to got to remove and you see these little spring spring things they snap up into the end of the case metal frame and there's, there's absolutely no way you can get get just the the igniter out by itself it's just really pressed in there good you know it, from the bottom it appears you can just pull these ears open it'll pop right out but it just doesn't doesn't work that way I found just use a screwdriver get up under get up under here real careful and, and don't damage this this uh, little rubber washer stuff here don't damage that and just uh, pry it down and you can you can end up popping this out of the case from the replacement and most importantly don't ever touch that oil off your skin that thing fires up it'll uh, crack it something so they say it won't work anymore so and here's the new one can't really tell much difference this has got a little a little bit of white on it the reason I, I wanted to replace mine because it just it it just wasn't firing up correctly it 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 fire up sometimes and sometimes it shut off it just wasn't acting correctly so i knew it was an igniter problem okay let's test the old igniter against the new one i've got my meter set to to ohms see that's that's over a hundred according to what i read on the internet and the the manuals i've looked at it's supposed to be 40 to 60 anything above that it's uh, too much resistance and let's check the new one yeah it's, it's at uh, it's at 57 so it's uh, it's quite a bit lower but of course the you know the the old igniter it was 14 years old so it was bound for replacement and you've got to reuse the little mounting harness and it snaps up and you just slide the new one back up into the the old metal harness all the way back in until these little ears snap on here and it's ready for installation okay you've got your cover off and this is where the igniter plugs into and I want to say this is the most screwball design I've ever I've ever messed with on igniters um, see that white PVC back there well that, that, that's in your way so you gotta pull it out and you see way back up in 
it's easier to put your arm through that hole. Way back up in there, that square hole. That's where the igniter goes. That's just crazy. But anyway, carefully stick it up in there until those in those clips. See if I can get a better focus on this. Yeah. Until those clips on each side until they fasten and then plug it in and you're good to go. I'm in the process of replacing the igniter on this Carrier 9200 in my house and I thought I'd do a little extra maintenance. I was going to check out the coil and see how dirty it was and see if you can see back in there. Yeah, you see all that dirt and that gunk build up back there on the coil? That's that's interfering with the heating and the cooling of this unit. And you can see it's on it's on the other side too. So I need to need to clean these these fins out. You've got to be real careful. You can bend these things and actually do more more harm than good when you're cleaning. And the 9200, it's got three three coil surfaces that need to be cleaned. So we've got one here, one over here, and there's another another one that's kind of hidden. You've got to remove this panel here and and reach it reach in here, and there's another another set of fins that need to be cleaned. Now, for cleaning these fins, I've got a a, a coil comb. Spe uh, specifically made for this, but I'll tell you, I find I find this works better. It's a uh, just a brush from the dollar store. Yeah, it costs a dollar, and I used to have a hunk of plastic there, and I ground that off, and I also lessened the point on this because you don't want to be in there working on those coils and and accidentally dent them. Got to go real slow, but you can. You can get these shined up almost like new, and you'd be, su be surprised how much more heating and cooling efficiency you get when these coils are clean.